Damn, I'm gonna need a bigger offset. Hi there, my name is Matiz, and today I'll show you everything you need to know about distribution plates, also known as distro plates or waterways, as they're called in some corners of the world. We'll talk about what they're for, how to use them, install them, and therefore lift your PC to the next level. The video is timestamped, so you can jump to the parts that interest you the most. Also, don't forget to contact our renowned customer support whenever you need help with our products. They'll be more than happy to help. We've saved some valuable tips and tricks for the end, so be sure to stick to the very last segment of this show. So what are distro plates? E-case distribution plates are purpose-made and designed to fit a particular case. As the very name suggests, their purpose is to distribute the coolant across other products in the liquid cooling loop and help you achieve the clean look. Each distribution plate has dedicated ports and channels to provide coolant to each loop component, including GPU blocks, radiators and the CPU blocks, or a monoblock. But the coolant distribution isn't the only function of a distribution plate. They also feature a mounted pump and a reservoir compartment, a package deal that truly allows for a professional and stunning look of the build. And of course, higher grade on our Rate My Build shows. There are regular distribution plates on the market, and then there are Matrix 7 compliant distro plates. Let's address the difference. Typically, distro plates work with a very narrow combination of hardware and liquid cooling parts, especially if you want to have nice, straight, parallel tube runs. This means you need a specific motherboard, GPU and radiators in order to connect the tubes without major headaches and hard-to-achieve bends. This refers specifically to the first generation of EK Quantum reflection distribution plates. But since then, EK has released several Matrix 7 compliant products and that's when things change drastically on the distro plate market. Matrix 7 is based on the principle of toy bricks, where there's a size pattern and each new block is bigger by a specific increment. EK's Matrix 7 concept works similarly, where the ports on each liquid cooling part are organized in increments of 7 mm. To have a straightforward example, a reference Vector 2 GPU block and Reflection 2 distro plates will in most cases connect with straight parallel tubes. But if you're running an AIB card like the Strix, Trio or For the Win 3, all you need to add is some offset fittings and you'll quickly achieve the same clean and parallel look as well as hassle-free installation. Here we can see those inlet and outlet ports that will help us route the tubing. This is a custom-made Matrix 7 distribution plate designed to fit the Lian Li O11D XL case. Each of these ports will help your build run smoothly and enable you to achieve straight lines with minimal effort. For example, let's take the CPU block placement for this particular distribution plate. We can achieve a straight line by simply combining the 28mm and a 7mm MF extender along with the 90 degree rotary adapter fitting from the Quantum line. This way we can achieve tubing that goes over the ramps and straight to the ports on the distribution plate. The only thing to pay attention to here is the CPU socket height, which can vary with different motherboards. This is easily solved by using offset fittings. Usually all you need is a 3mm offset instead of the 28mm extender on the CPU block. If the CPU ports are still not aligned height-wise, you'll need to place a bigger offset on the distro plate. Luckily, we have just the right ones for you, and they come in increments of 7mm. Here we have the 7, 14 and 21, and even the 28mm offset available. Inlet and outlet ports for the GPU also match the PCIe slot height as well as the block with or without the active backplate. So with a 90 degree MF rotary adapter and a fitting, the straight horizontal run to the distro plate is easily achieved. For those of you who use a wider AIB GPU, a simple Matrix 7 compliant offset is an excellent solution as the GPU block's width also moves in increments of 7 mm. We even accounted for the GPUs placed in the EK Vertical GPU Holder EVO, which is also Matrix 7 compliant. The radiators are, naturally, Matrix 7 compliant as well, as we can see here. With a setup like this, all you need is the right combination of extenders and angled adapters. For those unsure which fittings to use, we encourage you to contact our technical support representatives, who will always try to give you an exact list of fittings you'll need for your build. We also offer all the fittings you might need with the Matrix 7 system, and you can find them in our webshop. 
There you can find all the fittings, extenders and offsets that account for different motherboards, GPUs and compatible radiator sizes. Now let's go with the flow. Here we can see a distribution plate for the EK Quantum Reflection 2 PC-011D Mini D5 that will help us understand and recognize the flow direction. It's best to start with the pump on the distribution plate. We use DDC and D5 pumps. They pull the coolant from the middle, from the reservoir area, and the pump's impeller shoots the water to the side outlet with the use of centrifugal force. Now that we know where the coolant is coming from, we can easily trace the flow direction through the channels that distribute the coolant across the GPU block, CPU block and radiators. This flow diagram, which is included in the installation manual, will help us visualize the flow direction even better. So in short, the water enters the pump in the middle and exits through the side channel. Now that we know what the distro plate is for and how it works, we can use this knowledge to our advantage and properly utilize it in different setups. For example, what if you only plan to use one radiator or you don't want to cool the GPU at the moment? Easy, you simply need to ensure that the coolant forms a full loop and it doesn't get blocked. For that purpose, let's take the distribution plate and, for example, say that we will not use the GPU ports at this point. We have several options here and we'll show them to you. First one is skip a channel. As a second option, we can attach other components to that port, such as a flow meter, for example. For the third option, we can make a simple tube bridge between the ports. Now that we've covered the what-ifs, it's time for some actionable tricks of the trade. Tips and tricks. First, you should always check compatibility with other products, especially the size of the radiators you can use in your build. Be sure to properly drain and fill your system. Leave a little of air on the top of your distro plate. If you're adding an extra component, integrate it into the loop properly. Make sure it's connected to the right ports. Also, make sure to fill the reservoir in an optimal manner. Take care of the air bleeds. Run the pump at 100% PVM and tilt the case on all sides to move the air from the loop to the reservoir. It is possible to upgrade your distro plate with a premium aesthetical cover for the D5 pump. The EK Quantum Convection D5 cover comes in all the usual finishes and it is designed to improve the aesthetics of D5 pumps and features a rectangular design with a convenient hole for routing the cables and hiding them as much as possible, allowing for a cleaner look. That's it for today. I hope we managed to distribute as much knowledge as we can about distro plates. If you're interested in more similar content, feel free to browse our YouTube channel and follow us through social media. Also, visit our web shop to find just the right gear for your next liquid-cooled PC build. Until next time, stay cool.